Hello and welcome to the lighthouse. I am Shine. And I wanted to do something that I used to do. They're really nice messages. Um, the Rumi Oracle. And maybe do this once a week. Because so I'm trying to figure out a schedule here for what I'm going to do, when, see how it goes, if any changes need to be made. But I think Friday is also going to be the Rumi Oracle Day. Um, so we shall read from this. Oh yes, and please like, subscribe if you're not already, share, and hit the bell. These are the things everybody says. I feel like I, 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 I shouldn't have to say it. You know, if, if you like something, you do. If you want to subscribe, you will. If you want to be notified, you, you, it, you, you, you've been around the block. You know how the YouTube works. So that's why I, I haven't been saying it, because I figure we're all adults here. Well, most of us, right? I don't know what the age group's looking over here. Maybe teenagers looking. Hopefully not. Hope, well, I don't know. It's, um, but that's, um, I'm getting off topic. I gotta stop doing that. <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> let's see what this says. This is the Celestial Rose of Ma. See? And sh shall I read it in, in, in a flowery voice, in a soft spoken flowery voice? See of the essence of the words as they bathe over us in their. <laughs> Let's see, where's number 10? <clears throat> God, they, they need to make this bigger for people who are losing their sight. Um, Celestial Rose of Ma. The taste of bitterness becomes sweetness in love. The searching in the dark finds the light of faith revealed in love. Love transforms thistles into jasmine. Love layers heaven and gifts us with wings to soar into its mystery. Love transforms our every thought into a desire of the heart. O oh, love, how divine is your lure. Beauty flows from your unseen face. Your very nature is radiant with joy. You magnificent, vibrant hues. Oh, see, now I already screwed that up. You manifest, edit, cut, go back. You manifest vibrant hues in every flower. Your touch dazzles all creation. Every particle is attracted towards you, longing to unite and dwell in you. So that is the Rumi poem. The Divine Mother offers me her rose, how rich that gift may be. I tear my flesh on its thorns and my blood flows. I curse myself for carelessness, and yet in my desire to grasp this gift, it happens again and again. And I realize such is its scent, its beauty. How can I be tentative in my approach? My senses are drenched in beauty, and I long to inhale the exquisite perfume, to reach for the velvet dew of the petals, soft and delicate under my touch. Perhaps I will be scraped, and I will bleed. And yet that is not enough to deter me, to prevent me from accepting this gift. The magnificence of the bloom renders the struggle to enjoy it as a worthy, noble, essential pursuit. Of course, I understand something so precious must be protected. It must be allowed to live more than this, to thrive. So those thorns are hooks that allow for growth for those that would bear the pain of the ascent to the rose's blooming heart. And those thorns are barbs that keep away those that would consume the creation 
without appreciating its worth and beauty. Yes, those thorns serve essential purpose. I cannot begrudge them, for I love the rose. And so I love what is necessary for her to be. So I love the thorns too. A spiritual gift is on its way to you. The celestial rose of the Divine Mother is a precious offering of sacred love to the soul. That love can lift you beyond what you have known beyond self-imposed limits by the uplifting fragrance of grace. You will feel moved by life, by its sacredness, in a way hitherto elusive to you. You will feel ecstasy without apparent cause, and you will feel as though every breath is a seductive caress of the heavenly lover. Watch out. <laughs> you will be open and surrendered in a way that you have longed to be, but in a way you've never known quite how to go about. This spiritual gift signifies the ending of a period of suffering. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. In the opening up to a time of new opportunity. A flourishing and thriving release of your unique soul fragrance into the world. It is a gift worth having. So then, the sticking point is not the value of the gift. The sticking point, the place where one can stumble and place hands to the ground to break a fall rather than open them to receive, is in the thorn. The thorn is the point of pain. Ugh is what tears at you, but is essential for you to receive the rose. Your thorn may be the love you need to let go of now, so that you are open to your present rather than your haunted past. Your thorn may be the fear that if you grow too vibrant and embrace the magnificence of your being, others will shun you out of jealousy or fear and leave you alone. Your thorn may be a constant need to bargain with life so that you shall take one step provided uh, that you sh shall take one step provided certain unwanted events don't take place. Oh yes, the, the bargaining. <laughs> we, we all are um, guilty of that as well. Uh, rather than just accepting it and living it as presented to you. Your thorn may be looking deep within the heart and removing a crown of thorns, Oof. representative of your suffering over a long, long time. Letting it go, allowing the heart to heal this with a sense of virginal purity, to emanate from the heart, realizing that even great suffering has not tarnished its radiance, but only allowed it to grow strong. You are ready for love. Your ready for love heart can now be free from expectation and instead be open to life with curiosity and reverence. Oh, those thorns, they have served their purpose. Not in and of themselves, but rather that they have proven you worthy of the rose and ready now to receive its beauty, healing, and grace. Whatever your thorns are, or have been, be willing to deal with them, to face them, and most importantly, to release them without any shred of doubt, shame, guilt, or recrimination, beloved. They have served and now their purpose has been completed. The celestial rose of Ma promises a gift worth so much more than any pain you are holding on to. So release to receive now. You can sense the dew soft petals and luscious fragrance opening to you now. So here we have a sacred honoring ritual, which you can do or not do, it's up to you. Place your hands in an open palm, upward facing posture at the front of your chest, as if open and ready to receive. I guess, you know, like this. Say the following. Rumi, who loves me unconditionally, 
guide the spiritual gift of the Divine Mother, the blessing of the celestial rose of Ma, into my open hands and open heart, that I may know myself to be a cherished holy child of the universe, with my life unfolding according to sublime grace. Help me surrender whatever stands in the way of such fulfillment now. May I be blessed to release pain and be open to joy through merciful compassion. So be it. And close your hands in prayer at your heart and bow your head. You have finished your sacred honoring ritual. So there you have it. I think this kind of sums up what we've been hitting on all week in the healing and resolution video in the daily motivation and inspiration video in the going through a hard time video this is all about again letting go healing and allowing for, for new things to come in and the universe wants to remember the yesterday and stop clinging to old caca right and on that note, have a good weekend, and until Monday, take care. Bye -bye. Oh, and by the way, this is timeless. I say that because I'm posting this, but it's for whenever. But for those watching today, have a good weekend. <laughs> okay, bye-bye.